Hey, this is Randy. Uh, welcome to Mad Tech TV. In this episode, what I'm going to show you is a really uh, powerful and uh, easy to use tool called Form Plus. I just found this tool. I don't know how long it's been out there, but uh, it's new to me. And I thought uh, it might be something that you would find valuable. But what Form Plus does is it allows you to create um, uh, features in your Google Forms, which Google Forms are fantastic, easy to use, a lot of a lot of applications for them. But this allows you to add the functionality of being able to upload files through a Google Form. So just as an example, let's say that you were someone that had posted a job, uh, an available job. You could have an online application where in in which uh, applicants could go fill out all their information, but then they could also click a button that and where they could submit and upload their resume, which would then be put into your Google Drive really a cool tool. So uh, I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to go through the creation of one really quickly. Um, first of all, let me tell you, you need to go to Form Plus, that's formpl.us, and register. And you'll have to do it by joining your Google account to it. That's okay, because that's, that's how you have to uh, add the functionality into your Google Drive. So go ahead and register there. And then go to your Google Drive, log in, and one of the things that you'll see is you will see in the create button that you've added this form plus tool so I'm gonna click on that and you get this whole new tool that you didn't have before um, it's the form plus builder and I'm gonna create a really quick form what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a form as if I had sent home or I had posted online an electronic copy of a parent survey where I wanted to get parent information contact information things like that but I don't want them to print it out and bring it back to me. I just want them to submit it online. So I'm going to create a form for that. I'm going to click here on Untitled Form, just like we do in Google Docs, and I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to call it Parent Survey. Save it. And then I'm going to add a few elements. Now, this is a cool interface. It's just click and drag. So let's say the first thing I want is the student's name. I'm going to click and drag that over here. And right now, it's just a text input box, but I don't want it to say text input. I'm going to click on that, and I want it to say student uh, last name. I don't think that I need the word placeholder in my placeholder box, and I know I don't need any help text for that one. It's pretty easy. Click Save. I'm going to click another one over here. And I'm going to click to edit it, and then I'm going to make it say student first name. Again, I don't need the word placeholder, and I don't need help text on that one. Make it required. And then I might do something like maybe I want them to indicate what class period they're in. I mean, I can use, there's several tools here. There's a select tool, like multiple choice. There's checkbox radio. I'm going to use this inline radios tool, which is really cool. Click it, and I'm going to say class period and then I can add all my class periods okay click Save and that's pretty much it as far as the student information and really all that information does is it helps me when it when I get the spreadsheet that's gonna result from this it helps me sort my information and get it organized so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna add this file upload tool so I'm gonna click on file upload and I'm gonna drag this over into my survey form that I'm creating Again, I want to do a little editing. I don't want it to say file button. That's obviously too generic. So I'm going to say parent survey upload. And I'm going to click save. And now I'm basically I'm through because I've got the choose file button. It's going to allow them to choose to click on it and browse to it as I'll show you in just a minute. So the last thing I need to do is click create form. That was a real simple, short and simple one there. And it'll take just a couple seconds and here is my form and it gives me a nice preview of what it's going to look like. Okay. And notice over here there is a uh, there's a link to it. You can also do it um, you can get embed codes and things like that so that you can show it on your site. You can also shorten the URL if you'd like. But anyway, there's my URL, and we'll come back to that in a minute. Right now, I'm going to show you how the survey works. Um, if I wanted to, I could actually go directly to it through that link, but I can also take it right here through my preview. So I'm going to say, I'm going to give my uh, survey a name. And she's in fifth period. And then I'm going to choose a file. I'm going to browse to the file of uh, the parent survey, which in this case I'm actually going to pick something totally different. It's a little JPEG there, and I'm going to click Submit. 
doesn't matter what the file is. I can upload all kinds of different files. I could upload movie files. I could upload uh, PDFs. I could upload Word documents, PowerPoints, all kinds of things. And so now it's been submitted su uh, successfully. Now if I go back into my Google Drive, here's where you find all this. This is really cool. It creates a Form Plus folder. And you'll notice there's my parent survey right there. If I want to get back in it and edit it, I can click that. It'll take me right back in to Form Plus and to my form where I'll be able to edit it. I'm not going to do that right now. There's my survey results, and since I did submit one, I should be able to see them. Yep, there's Pebbles Flintstone. She's in fifth period. And then I also have this folder here that gets created called Parent Survey File Submissions. And you can see there's the file that I uploaded nice and securely in my Google Drive. That's really it. Now, the only other thing I would add is that sometimes the way you want to do this is actually to uh, use this link if you if you want to do all the bells and whistles of a Google form then go in and create your Google form the standard route then go in and create your submission piece in your form plus tool copy this link here which you can do by right clicking and saying copy and then you can go into your form any Google form that you've created and you can just paste that into a text field and that link will show up as a live link when people visit uh, that form online to complete it. They could click that live link, use that part for the submission, and go back into the form to complete the form. So that's it. I hope that you find this valuable. I can see a lot of potential applications. This could be used as a student assessment tool as well. Students could come in here and complete surveys or tests or, or whatever, um, you know, reflection activities, and then upload the files that they've completed. A lot of powerful uses for this tool. Uh, that's it for this episode. I hope that was beneficial and look forward to talking to you the next time.